Are you the type of leader that really knows the impact that you can make and really believe in your leadership value? Do others trust what you share and how you lead? Do you allow yourself to be open to change so that you can continually develop the ability to lead others and at the same time, be empathetic to what they need? My name is Penny Pearl and I've guided many executives to help them with their leadership presence by helping them articulate the value that they offer as a leader to themselves for their own advancement, to their teams so that they can help others advance and also to help grow the company. They're basically sold on themselves. And sometimes it's just a matter of taking what they know to be true and being able to articulate that. They're energizing to be around. Confidence always is. Because they're confident, they have the time and the skill to listen and guide others. And not to mention, they're great role models. As a result, their teams stay longer and the people that work for them and with them learn how to advance themselves. As I speak this, I think about an executive I worked with who came from the financial community. He had been at the same company for 20 years and he was ready for a big change. He was at a high level of vice president and wanted to move to join in on more innovative, exciting fields and wound up getting several offers from one of the FANG companies. This was really exciting for him and me to work with him. And he wanted to be able to articulate his impact, his value proposition, and wanted to focus on how he did that by taking all of the sessions in our work together and focusing them on interview preparation and role play so that he could be open to the change and make the necessary tweaks so that he projects himself as the confident leader that he is. I felt like he was always in the driver's seat of himself and just needed some slight guidance, a nudge this way or that way, and some feedback on how he was coming across. At the end of our sessions, he said, you know, I could interview anywhere. I could do this anytime, anywhere, which is a really good thing because whenever you're in a conversation or in an interview, of course, you need to know how to pivot. But in order to do that, you have to have the confidence in what you know to be true as a leader while you're being open to making adjustments. Since he and I are both networkers, we stay in touch with each other. And I asked him, what is the key to his leadership? And he said to me, by far, number one is being empathetic. Do you know that one of the reasons that he can be empathetic and also a trusted advisor and guidance for his teams is because his leadership comes to him naturally. He doesn't need to project something that isn't real. His teams trust him and that allows him to listen to his teams and guide them because they see him playing the role of what they aspire to. This executive client, he was really unwavering. He knew what he wanted. He projected what he wanted in the end. And there was no doubt that he was an outstanding leader. Not only that, but he was really delightful to always be meeting with. We always had fun in our meetings because he was serious. He was confident. He knew what he wanted. And we worked toward that end and achieved it. He was a role model and he's also a magnetic leader. Is this where you want to be in your leadership style?